Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Tainwas. So, in this video, we are going to discuss. So, we are going to solve one OCJP interview question. So, this is the code. This is the code. And here it is. So, in this code, we are using the so while loop. So, we know that. So, what is a while loop? So, means what loop is going to execute a block of instructions repeatedly as long as the condition is true. Right here it is. The execution starts from the main method. Execution starts from the main method, and inside the main method, we are declaring one variable i. The variable i, and what is that value? We are initializing with a ten, and here it is. So in the loop, we have written some code, and after execution of while loop, inside the loop, we are not printing any information. So once loop execution has been completed, followed by is we are printing the value of i, and here it is. So they have given some options, right? So first you try yourself and then compare with the solution. See here, see the solution. So first execution starts from the main method, main method, and once the control move inside, so i value is initialized with a ten, and now loop execution starts. Here it is. We are using that modify operator. It's a post increment. So what is the difference between pre increment and post increment means? Pre increment means first increase the variable value and then substitute into the equation. And here it is the post increment means what? First substitute the value. Ten will be substituted and later the value will be increased. Is a post increment. But here it is. So what is the substituted value? Ten. So with the substituted value only, it will check the condition. Ten is less than or equals to twelve. Is yes, condition true? So control move inside the so i plus plus so i value increases. So what is that i value? It's a eleven. Here it is a eleven become twelve. Eleven become twelve. Next again it will repeat this loop. It will repeat this loop. And here it is how it how it will execute. Here it is now i value should substitute. So what is that i value is twelve, and it's a post increment. So first, it will substitute the value twelve, but the value become thirteen. First, it will substitute the value. Next, the value become thirteen, and here it is. Look at the condition twelve is less than or equals to twelve. Still, condition true. So the control move inside. I plus plus executes nothing but once again the I value is increased by one. So here, the thirteen become fourteen. And again, it will repeat the loop because a loop means what executes so as long as the condition is true. Now it will substitute the value. Here it is. What is that i value? I value is fourteen. I value is fourteen. But here it is a post increment. So as soon as you substitute the value, so automatically the value increases by one. So i value become fifteen. And but here it is. Look at the condition fourteen. Is less than or equals to twelve. The condition has failed. So, so while loop terminates and the control come out of the loop, and it will print the i value. Here, what is that final i value in the program is a fifteen. So that will print. So in the given options, so what is the right option? So for this problem is a fifteen. So this is how a loop and a post increments nothing but modify operators executes in the Java application. So hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you.